hello guys welcome back to my tip channel um today we're going to be uh creating brand patterns or just creating patterns in pixel lab just like this background you are seeing now and the one in my thumbnail also now you can see how uh attractive this looks the zigzag nature so i'm just going to be showing you guys how i created it okay so first of all we're going to create a new okay sorry i'm going to create a new document and just delete this text and uh we're going to create a shape yeah we're going to create a shape and first of all, I'll do the one I just showed you. So, uh, make this straight like this. Yeah. So, then we'll go over to rotate. And we'll rotate the shape 45 degrees. And then we'll increase the scaling or the relative size to 100 turn on your grid and the magnet and then move position this like this yeah okay i think like this is okay let me just see like this yes so what we're going to do next is to go over to this place and then make the background transparent. So we're going to save this as an image. Just save it as a regular image. And then we'll delete this. So putting on the background color back I'll go over to first of all just go to grid and your grid default will be like this one two three four one two three four yeah four by four or three by three actually three grids dividing into four so this is how number of horizontal guides and vertical guides looks like so in my subsequent videos I'll be teaching you how to edit um, graph so if I do six by three now I do six by three. Notice what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven by three. So I'm just going to leave this at default three by three, and then I'll manually adjust it. Just hold this and then take it down. So I'm going to take it to the very edge. I'll go to this one, take it to the very edge also. And go to this, take it to the very edge, and same as this nice so we have all the grid situated at the edges of the canvas so we'll go to, over to shapes and make sure your grid is your magnet is on so that it snaps just like this so the reason why we're doing this is to make sure that the pattern is not going to have another shape so as we've done this we will have this now covering the full canvas so we'll go over to texture here and select this and i'm going to go to the texture i just import i am um, saved so i'm going to open it up and then we have this it doesn't look cool right so just go over to this scale and then bring the scale down and we have this wow it doesn't still look cool so go over to erase color and then erase the white part off and then we have this kind of a png pattern which you can save also and use for other designs so uh we're just going to go back to color sorry I'm going to color and i'll change this to like orange 
and then I'll you I'll reduce the color the saturation um, sorry the opacity bits and then we have this so to make it more cool just go over to rotate and then take this to like 10 10 yeah and then scale it up and then align it to the center wow <laughs> wow this is so nice this is so nice you can also let me just reduce it a bit okay awesome so we have this and you can see that zigzag pattern going up there so let me just add something else to make this to pop a bit so okay let me see this so you can add this i know the colors don't match let me just uh change the hue of one of them So I'm trying to get it to yellow, but okay, I think we've gotten it. So then I will remove this other one from here because of the color. Okay, so we have this. So, you can use this in your brand identity project and you can just add a shadow on that. And you can also have this. Let me import uh, a mock up I did. You can also import this mock up and just place it in front. And then you have this, which looks really cool. Like, it looks like Illustrator, Photoshop, yes. So, to make it more realistic, you can just add a shadow. Go back to color and choose a dark color. So, place this on that. Place this here. And then go back to opacity and reduce the opacity. So, it looks like it's floating on top. So, this is an example of what you can do with patterns to make your backgrounds to pop. Okay, so... uh. I want to create another pattern and I'll show you how you can create pattern using logos so I'm just going to use the shape we have created here this square we have created here with the grid and go over to texture and then just click on this dustbin and then it goes away so click to add a new texture and then the texture I'm going to be adding is this logo I created for the purpose of this tutorial uh, okay so as you can see it looks as if nothing happened why because the shape we created earlier is white and then the logo which we imported is white also so in the concept of masking like photoshop and which also applies to Pizzo Lab, black conceals and white hides so that, that is the concept of masking and i love to do in pixel lab even though you can do otherwise because of the race color so when you click here as you can see the logo has started appearing but if you come out you can see the edges of the shape are showing that's because we only erase the white or we erase the black i guess okay we erase the white and we're supposed to erase the black so we change this to black and then you see what happens okay so as you can see it's only one and it's not looking that fine so we'll go back to texture and then we'll scale this down and then we we'll have this wow so let's scale this up scale it up and then we can just position it here and uh, align it to the center 
okay so we can lock this layer and on this and look at that look at that this is a very neat mock-up with the logo on the hoodie and the logo at the back which is very very nice like it's so super cool so we can also uh, go over to texture and increase it if we want it to be bigger if we want it to be bigger we can do something like this if we want one just like this yes so we can also come over here and uh, remove the rotation so that it just becomes straight and it's also cool like this because with the logo in front you already know that is the logo at the back and we can also increase this and increase this and increase this so i just like to keep mine this way awesome let me see uh, this is nice this is nice okay so i think we've come to the end of today's video and it's very quite explanatory or very quite easy to understand how to do it so uh i'll catch you guys in the next tutorial and before then stay true bye